Hi, I'm Sydney from Ophilitrico and in today's video I'm going to help you knit the top lacelles. This video is pretty long so remember that you can find every spot you need to see in the timeline here or in the description below. I just finished working both shoulders. I finished on the right side row and I placed all the left stitches on scrap yarn so it's easier to work and I'm not bothered with uh, a needle. First, we will see how to pick up the stitches on the side. We will use the exact same way to pick up the stitches for the front. First, we need to turn the shoulders right side down on both shoulders and make the caston face each other. The neck will be in the center and we keep the left stitches on the outside so we can work the sleeve when we are at that point. With your needle in hand, we are going to pick up the stitches on the right shoulder. You don't want to pick up the stitches into the slip stitch because you won't have enough stitches. However, you can pick them up into the second stitch. As you can see, I turn my work so I can begin my pickup from the cast on to the last stitches and I'm going to pick up two stitches every three. With the right amount of stitches onto my needle, I can pull them from the lap stitches to the cast on. The next step is turning my work so I'm facing the right side and I can cast on the stitches for the back. I'm placing a marker and I cast on 12 stitches for my size. I'm using the knitted method and you can find a link on the right top corner of this video. I'm placing a new marker, a different one, so I can better identify the next eight stitches that are going to be the central lace. I'm placing a third marker to identify the end of the lace. And I'm now back at casting on 12 stitches, which bring me to the other shoulder. I finished casting on all the stitches for the back. I'm placing a new marker so I'm ready to pick up the stitches from the other shoulder. 
But first, I'm placing my work as it was at the beginning, which both cast on facing each other. With mouse on needle, I'm going to pick up the stitches from the cast from the live stitches to the cast on, and once again, two stitches every th every three stitch. With the right amount of stitches picked up, I can place back my marker and I'm ready to purl all the stitches from the second shoulder. The next step is to work some short row. We will work, work for all them in order to have the back of the top to come up a little bit next to the, to the neck. The technique I'm showing you will be the same for the sleeves as we want some of the fabric to cover the, the shoulder but we don't want fabric uh, at the armpit. The first short row, row is work like this. Slip one stitch and knit to the second marker. The first row of the lace goes like this. Knit two together, knit four stitches, yarn over, and knit two. Resume your row by knitted 5 stitches after the last marker. This is the fifth stitch after the marker and we are now going to make the short row. On to the sixth stitch. First, you want to bring the yarn to the front of the work, going below the both stitches. Slip the next stitch and bring the yarn to the back. We are now ready to turn the work and purl the row number two. I slip the stitch that is wrapped and I purl to the fourth marker. I'm at the third marker. I keep purling the stitches until I get to the fourth marker. I slip the marker, purl another 5 stitches.
to wrap the yarn around the next stitch I'm going to bring the yarn to the back slip the next stitch and bring the yarn to the front so once my work is turned I'm ready to knit all the stitches For row number 3, which is on the right side, I'm going to slip the stitch, knit to the second marker, At the second marker, we are working the wave lace, which is knit two together, knit three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip one stitch, knit and pass the slip stitch over. Slip marker and knit to 5 stitches after the previous warp and turn. The wrap and turn made in row number 1 left, left a mark in your knitting. To find it, you have to look for a bigger hole in between the two stitches that you can find here. And you can also look for, for a line made by the wrap, made by the wrap of your stitch. So we are going to knit to the stitch wrap, wrapped. Which is that one. And I'm going to knit another five stitch. Le troisième wrap and turn va se faire turn. comme sur le premier rang, je, je ramène mon fil à l'avant, je glisse la maille suivante et je ramène mon fil à l'avant pour que, une fois que je tourne mon tricot, mon fil à tricoter soit disponible, pour, soit du bon côté pour tricoter toutes les mailles du rang 4 en vert. I slip the, the wrap stitch and then I'm going to purl to the fourth marker and to the previous wrap and turn. As you can see here, the space in between those stitches is bigger than in between those one and those one, which means that that stitch is the one I wrapped on the row number two. I'm going to purl to the wrap and turn, which is that one, and now I'm going to purl the five stitch I need for my size. Fifth one, and to wrap, I bring the yarn to the back, slip the stitch, bring the yarn to the front again, so now that I turn my work for a knit row, my yarn is automatically to the back. We are now, now done with all the wrap and turns, so we are back working flat from the beginning of the row to the end of it. I'm going to show you how to pick up the stitches for the front, but only once, because once you have the hang of it, it will be easy to make the other slip. We want to pick up the stitches from the last stitches to the cast on and into the second stitch of the row. Once again, you want to pick up two stitches every three stitch.
to make a make one left increase you are, we are going to use the left needle and pick up the strand in between two stitches from the front to the back we pick up from the front to the back and we are going to knit that stitch into the back leg if we do it into the front leg we are making a big hole so if you knit into the back leg you're closing the increase and then you need the last the last two stitches When working the left shoulder, you won't be making the make one left, but you will do a make one right at the beginning of the row. And this is how it is worked. First, we slip purl was the first slip, knit the second one, and to make the make one right, we are going to use the left needle to pick up the perpendicular strand in between the both stitches and we are going to pick it up from the back to the front and we are going to knit it into the front leg and then you finish your row by knitting all the stitches Thank you for watching, if you like this video remember to put a thumbs up, you can find my other video here and you can subscribe here so you know whenever a new video is up. See you soon!